Hey guys, Zegji here from Zegji Outdoors again, and we're going to be doing another bass fishing video out of my favorite pond. Um, not going to reveal the location at, just because that's a secret family thing, but um, going to be doing some awesome fishing uh, with uh, custom ASL plastics. Um, and also, I'm going to be fishing at a little uh, close pond that I used to fish at whenever I was still in high school. Um, having a fun time, catching some fish. Sorry for the lack of videos. I've been insanely busy with school, just finished finals, so... Video game, video, video, not video game, video schedule, we getting back to normal, and let's get into it, I'll catch up with you at the very end of the gear review. Yeah, there's tons of rocks right here, so I imagine that they're going to be sticking right next to them, just in case something comes, I got one, there we go, my drag is so loose right now, that's a bad, that's not a bad fish either. There we go. Yeah, yeah. How about that? And see one thing? You can see there's all red in our lip. Mm -hmm. That means they've been eating craws and grinding them up. Oh. So that's why I'm going to keep using that craw then. Yay. There he goes. How about we that? Yeah. There we go. I got one. A little booger. Look at that tiny little booger. Oh, over here. That's a small one. No, that's not a bad one, actually. There goes my Senko. Hey! You got a game on you now! Nice little fish. He's running. Oh, another nice one. All right. Nice little fish again. You get any big ones yet? Okay. Huh? Okay, oh. still from that. That might be a good one. No, not really. There we go. Nice little bass again. I'm just gonna get stills from the video. Nice little one on here. Just stuck me. Nice one. Oh 
my god. Oh my god. Yeah. No. Get in the net! <laughs> Sixteen and a quarter inches. There we go. Oh shoot. <laughs> yeah, that was a close one. One nine eight. All right, great fish on the wacky worm. There we go. Catch me another. All right, y'all, uh, thanks for getting this far into the video and having me going over the gear review, basically what I used to catch my fish and how I actually fished it. So starting with the fishing rods, I have them all right here. I have my Trophy Pro Elite Series IM7 right here, 6.6 medium uh, spinning rod with my really old Shimano, it's actually Sonora 2000F, um, and I got 10 pound or no, 10 or 15 pound braid on here, and then I believe a 10 pound floral leader. All right, good little finesse rig, and that's what I used to fish the um, fish the little uh, shaky head craw. And then on to my Texas rig setup, I use my uh, ugly stick elite um, seven foot medium heavy rod, fast action tip on there. With my uh, Bass Pro Pro Qualifier reel, I believe in six four to one with thirty pound main braid, and at the moment I believe I had fifteen pound floral leader. Okay, there's that. And then for the wacky rig that I eventually threw on was my Bass Pro Johnny Morse Carbon Light uh, seven foot medium fast action tip on here. And I also have another Pro Qualifier reel right here. I believe this is in five four to five two to one. Uh, really made for uh, throwing like squarables and crankbaits and stuff, but I was just using it at the time for throwing a wacky rig. And this has 12 pound model on this. And so how I was fishing the wacky rig is like you typically do. Just, you know, cast it out and then, you know, do some pops. Let it sink, let it do some pops, let it sink. And uh, whenever you let, whenever I could feel the fish hit it, I give it maybe like two or three seconds of running with it, then I try to set the hook. Um, still working on my hook sets, but you know, doing all right for now. Um, the shaky head uh, is kind of similar. Not really trying to lift it too much off the bottom. I was actually working some rocks, and so I just cast it out a little bit beyond the rocks, and just slowly do some little bounces on the rod like that, just to try to get that little bait in the bottom, uh, slowly approaching myself just doing that and once I did the same kind of thing let the fish hold on to it just for a second and then I'd hammer him um, and that is that in Texas rig like normally like you throw a Texas rig I'd cast it out let it sink do a rise and let it sink do a rise and do sometimes little pops at the top and let it sink just doing that until I felt the fish bite same kind of thing, let them have it for a second, and then hammer them. Um, and then let's go on to the terminal tackle here. Uh, 
have an assortment of things. So shaky head, I'd use this little spot remover right here. We have an eighth, eighth ounce one right there. Nice little shaky head presentation. Really sharp hook on there. And I'm going to get to the soft plastics in just a second. But uh, then for my Texas rig, use this Gamagatsu 3 odd super line hook. Normal, you know, hook like those. And then I used a, I believe an eighth ounce weight on there. And then my wacky rig, I use this little weedless wacky hook right here. Gamagatsu again. And then I believe I used either an eighth ounce or a uh, one thirty second ounce or sixteenth ounce weight. I don't really particularly remember, but something small like that. And then with these little weight uh, pegs right here, just peg the weight to the hook, just so that the uh, the hook was staying with. I mean, the weight was staying with the hook to help it, you know, not get caught in any grass or anything. And then so so the soft plastics. These are all going to be. <laughs> Custom made soft plastics from Blotter's Custom Baits. I'm gonna link all of his social media accounts in the description. Make some great soft plastics, soft, <laughs> soft plastics, and uh, really good action on these things. I've used these in, in the past, and I'm really liking them. This is one of my little watermelon red Senkos right here. Really soft, uh, works really well in the water. All right, there's that one. Black and blue looks really good. Liking that a lot. And then onto one of my craws that I was using. It's a pretty big craw. And this is a bright red color. Looks pretty cool in the water. The water. The water, to be honest with you. Um, and for the, uh, for the shaky head, I cut it off right to where my, my thumb is hitting it right here. Just to kind of shorten up the presentation. Because if it was like that, it probably just the hook would probably go into here, and it'd just be bent like that. So, cut it off there. The hook would be going in the ma the main part of the bait right here, to really help that bait stand up in the water, look like an actual craw. Now I'll be doing my actual official review on these soft plastics here soon. And overall, really good soft plastic company. I really encourage you to go ch uh, check him out. Look at some of his products on his social media accounts, and consider making an order with him because. Um, quality product and I've actually noticed with these Senkos and stuff that I've tried the Gary Yamamoto ones and personally I've just had trouble with just going through them way too fast because they're almost like too soft that um, they just tear really easily which I mean I guess is it almost a good thing in itself but then those packages being six plus dollars you can go through them a lot and have to go keep on buying more and I just feel like it's more efficient to get these and really quality products won't tear too bad so that's going to be a majority of the gear review for today again I'm sorry for the lack of videos last week and late one this week um been busy with school but now since I'm home I'm going to be getting videos ironed out I am going to be working however so I'm not going to have all the time in the world to work on videos but we'll make it happen and get your videos out on Friday so thank you so much for watching um, I've been talking for a little too long now, but I guess I'll see you next time on Zach G Outdoors. Thank you.